Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to find the second derivative implicitly in terms of x and y. So, solution. So, we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. So, the derivative of x squared is just 2x. Then we have plus. The derivative of y squared is 2y times the derivative of the inside function. So, dy dx. And the derivative of 4 is 0. So again, that's the chain rule. You bring down the 2, you don't touch the inside, then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is dy dx. All right, we have to find the second derivative, so we have a choice. We can differentiate everything again with respect to x, or we can solve for dy dx. In this particular case, it looks like it's really simple to solve for dy dx. So let's go ahead and do that, let's solve for dy dx. So minus 2x, minus 2x. These cancel, so you get 2y dy dx equals negative 2x. Now we can divide both sides by 2y, so 2y, 2y. These cancel, so we get dy dx is equal to negative x over y. Okay, now we're ready to differentiate again. So now we're going to take the derivative again with respect to x. So the derivative of dy dx is just the second derivative. So the second derivative with respect to x. And now here, when we take the derivative, we have to use the quotient rule. So the way I do the quotient rule is if you have f over g, I think of f as the first piece and g as the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second minus the first times the derivative of the second over the second one squared. So in this case, it's going to be the derivative of negative x, which is negative one, times the second piece, minus the first piece, times the derivative of the second piece, which is just dy dx. Right? The derivative of y is called dy dx, all over the second one squared. Let's check that. The derivative of negative x is negative one, times the second, minus the top piece, or the first piece, times the derivative of the bottom piece, which is dy dx. Now we can plug in dy dx into this equation. Right? So we have the second derivative with respect to x is equal to negative y, and then negative and negative is positive, so it's plus. And then we're going to plug in negative x over y into this. So we get negative x over y over y squared. Now all we have to do is simplify. Okay, So I'm going to write it over here. So the second derivative with respect to x is equal to negative y. So x times x is x squared. So we get negative x squared over y all over y squared. So we have a fraction over a fraction. So there's a couple ways to do this. One way is you can just perform the subtraction in the numerator. Another really clever way is to multiply by y over y. Let's take that approach. So if we multiply this by y over y, it's the same thing as multiplying by 1, right? So then we distribute the y into the numerator. So y times negative y is negative y squared. And then y times this, well, the y's cancel, so you just get negative x squared. And then on the bottom, we get y times y, so that's y cubed. This is pretty cool. You see, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So what you can do is you can pull out a negative 1 in the numerator. So you can write it as parentheses x squared plus y squared. It's all over y cubed. And now this piece here is just 4. So this is negative 4 over y cubed. And so that's the second derivative with respect to x. I hope this video has been helpful.